So friends, in this module, we are going to learn about history and evolution of Six Sigma. So let's start by understanding journey of excellence. And we can see here the journey of excellence, which has uh, come over the years, starting from 1920s to 2000 and beyond. We can see different phases of quality evolution. And the first step is uh, uh, period between 1920 and 1940s, very early days wherein we were mostly talking about uh, inspection, the focus was on inspection and it was being believed that uh, the products or the services until only that is being inspected, you cannot ensure quality and some of the gurus who have contributed a lot on uh, evolution of various uh, uh, quality philosophy or management philosophy, one of them, the prominent figure is uh, Frederick Taylor who has uh, given the concept of time and motion studies. Moving on from this period, the next phase is between 1940 and 1960s. So lots of focus was there on statistical process control during this time and some of the prominent figures like uh, Dr. Edward Deming who has contributed a lot for development of various quality philosophy methods and uh, a prominent figure in Japanese evolution of uh, quality management uh, post second world war. He visited uh, Japan very often. In fact, uh, his colleague uh, Joseph Juran, uh, he also visited a lot many time to Japan and uh, taught various concepts of quality control, quality management and statistical process control to uh, managements of uh, various industries at Japan, which laid the foundation of excellence in, uh, in the field of quality at Japan. So Walter Suwat, uh, who was a prominent figure in the field of statistical process control and he developed the concept of uh, control charts also. So using statistical technique for reducing variability, that was the focus during this period 1940s and 1960s. Quality control was the focus and uh, Dr. Deming was the prominent figure during this time. And in fact, uh, because of his contribution in the field of quality management and other uh, initiatives, he is being regarded as father of quality. Moving on to the next phase, that is 1960 and 1980s. So Philip Crosby, uh, who was the prominent figure uh, again in the field of quality and uh, given the concept of uh, cost of quality and Kauru Asikawa who was given the concept of uh, FISMO diagram or cause and diagrams are uh, very popularly used for resolving issues in Six Sigma projects. Not only Six Sigma project but also in routine problem solvings whether it is uh, working on uh, rejection reduction uh, within the organization or defect reduction or handling customer complaints. Uh, through any methodology, cause and effect diagram is a very common tool which is being used. So organization tuned toward quality uh, focus has increased during this time and the concept of total quality management TQM has evolved during this time and focus was also on quality assurance. So moving from quality control to assurance. So we can see here uh, during this time the focus was on inspection and uh, during this period the focus has moved on to quality control. So some evolution has come and during this time we were talking about quality assurance and total quality management and some of the other concept which has also evolved during this period that is quality circles, just in time, TPM and total quality control. So a lot many concept has evolved. In fact, there were lots of concept pertaining to lean manufacturing which has also evolved and later on lean initiatives uh, were also used during uh, Six Sigma projects. That has basically come during 2000 and beyond. So people started understanding the importance of lean along with Six Sigma and they started using lean Six Sigma uh, which has come uh, post 2000. Okay. Okay. Now coming back to this point, so total quality management was the focus area and we were evolving as an industry step by step, phase by phase manner and lot many prominent figure uh, they were contributing with different different concepts. Now coming to 87 and beyond during this time, concept of Six Sigma has evolved. Bill Smith, uh, the person behind the concept of Six Sigma, working as an engineer, scientist at uh, Motorola 
and uh, he has given this concept and later on uh, it has been modified amended suiting to the industry needs and during this time we can also see that concept of zero defect which has also evolved business process re-engineering it was also a focus point focus has moved on from uh, plant level control to customer focus or customer centric organization okay and uh, lean six sigma that started uh, taking a route uh, during 2000 and beyond. So lean manufacturing and Six Sigma both has uh, their unique features. Lean primarily focuses on waste reduction or elimination of waste. We know that there are seven kinds of waste. In fact, there are Muda, Mura and Muri 3M which uh, organization focus for elimination or reduction of waste. Whereas Six Sigma works on principle of reduction of variation reduction. Okay, so lean manufacturing and Six Sigma working both on uh, reduction of variation and uh, waste elimination. Okay, so it has power of both the things. Optimize flow from the customer point of view that is also a focus point for lean. So lot many prominent figures we can see and they have all contributed a lot and this is how over a period of time the industry has evolved.